your own, who would you sign? If your shit was popping, like you was like fucking Rockefeller or some shit. Like, to I'm be honest, I don't even know about the, the people that do sign. I don't know about them. Like I couldn't pick one because I don't know. Okay. Any to name. <laughs> like, I know, I know. I uh, mean, as far as, like, artists that you mess with, like, did you want on your team, on your label, like, who would you put? Oh, like, if I was going to sign an artist. Yeah, if you would want to sign oh. an artist, like, who um, would you sign it? Like, no, hands down. You someone that's not signed already? Yeah. Like, who would you sign? Who would you sign? Like, you would sign like, a dream team pick. Yeah. I would pick, like, 21 Savage, definitely. He high as fuck. But, like, right now. Um, I don't know who else. The Migos. Okay. They definitely is popping right now. Who else? I really listen to it a lot. I think that's really. Um, I really like Trouble, but he kind of fell off. I haven't heard nothing from Trouble in a little minute. I think that's really it that I listen to. Okay. Oh, I fuck with Young Nudy. I fuck with Young, Young Nudy. Don't Lotto Savage. I fuck with Lotto Savage. Yeah. I just have my dream team right Okay, you heard it here first. She get play, girl. She can get you. She got that bag. Right, she ain't Don't fuck with her, man. <laughs> now, you've done a lot of work in the DMV area. Like, a lot. So much so that people have almost confused whether you're yes, from here. I've done so much. Like, this is really like They done put home. you from out Largo. <laughs> they gave you a whole city. They're like, That's she's so from out Largo. She's from out Largo. That's so wild. That's now, so you wild. met Too Easy Black. Yeah. And that's how you got kind of affiliated up here. How did you meet him? Yeah, uh, he was in Atlanta. I met him at Capture. I did a show at Capture. Actually, it's really funny what happened. See, I'm about to tell y'all. It's a wild story. <laughs> so I painted this nigga jacket, right? He paid me to paint his jacket. So I painted it. And I was in an art show, actually. I wasn't even rapping. I was in an art show. And um, I had the jacket, like, up at the art show. I was trying to sell it. Mm -hmm. I was just showing it. And too easy, and then walked up to me, and they was like, "Oh, that jacket is so nice. That let me buy it." I was like, "I can't sell it." Da, da, da. He offered me. He was like, "Look, I'm gonna offer you X, Y, Z amount of money, and I'll give you a whole night of studio time." Because I told him that I'm starting to do music. Mm -hmm. So I was like, "Damn, I can't sell this nigga jacket." I'm like, "Fuck it, I'm selling this nigga jacket." So I sold the nigga jacket, right? I done told the nigga like, "Damn, someone robbed your jacket at the fucking shape, right?" <laughs> I was like, "Someone robbed your jacket." <laughs> So I went to the studio, I went straight to his house right after the show, and I, I stayed in his studio all night, and I made making plays. Oh, I love that song. Yeah, and then after that, like, we just had a close bond, like, it was like a bond after that, like, we was best friends, like, I recorded over there all the time, like, okay. he taught me how to record and everything, like, I know how to record my music, mix my songs, and everything. Oh, wow, okay. And so he brought you up here and then... And like I said, then he brought me up here and he introduced me to everybody, literally, like, everybody he knew, he introduced to me and, like, to everybody, like, she good, like, you know Take care I mean? of her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I, you've done a lot of work. You did videos, features, you've done performances, yeah. all types of things up here. Is it, are there any other cities or states that you've gone to and done as much work as you've done up here? No, not as much work. Wow. I've had shows other places, but I've had done as much work as I've done here. That's amazing. I'm glad that you, you know, come up here and you yeah. really work with us and you fuck with us like because we're kind of the we're vice versa. We go to Atlanta. I was saying yeah, that's so how Atlanta it's love, different so. how to finally have somebody from Atlanta come up here mm -hmm. and do kind of what we do when we go down there. Yeah. So that's what's up. Now you got a lot of projects that seem to be coming. I saw you hinting at Bodies Play too. Mm -hmm. On your vlog. Yes, I'm gonna drop that around my birthday time sometime. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you've got a project with Too Easy Black, the second letter. Yes. When do you do. think I that? I don't know. Happen? I don't know when we're gonna drop that. We have the the mixtape's done, but mm -hmm. I don't know when we're gonna drop it. We've been to the mixtape like we probably worked on that mixtape for like five months. And the project with Rico Nasty, Brad Spitch. I don't know when that's dropping either. Like. I stopped do, dropping all my music when I got out of jail. Like I just stopped dropping everything because I wanted what I already had to like sit. Cause I got arrested right when I dropped my mixtape. Yeah, so I, I was going to ask about yeah, that. Yeah, I, I got I had a violation of probation charge, so okay. I went to jail and then I ended up just having to sit. Is it is that still ongoing? No, now no, I'm fine. Like I'm clean, like everything's clear. You know, I'm good now. Okay, because you had to freestyle the first day out. Yeah, I'm good now. 
I'm good now though. Like, I'm good. Okay. So, in doing a little bit of research, I saw that there were possible maybe feuds with um, famous Dex and Asian Doll over, you know, the cover controversies, we like to say. Yes. Because they really did, I mean, if you really look at the history of it, you have to say there was some biting going on. Like, there was no reason for famous I mean, Dex to niggas, take that cover if you were doing Brazy Bunch. It made sense for you to have. Niggas is just biting. Biting arms, biting legs, biting. So it makes me want to ask, well, who is at your neck about? Asian dog. Oh, I, shit. I, I figured this much. I just wanted to be clear. I didn't want to have no insinuation. It's definitely about them for facts. Okay. Okay. And but nah, it's like I don't know. Like it's just like whatever. It's just rappers being rappers. Like just fucking. Like Big niggas still little nigga shit all the time. All the time. So I guess I mean you influence and you you said. I would say yeah, I said that's what it is. Like you, we already popping. The young niggas is hot and popping. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Y'all got that wave. We is hot. So also um, I wanted to ask you about your thoughts on Remy Ma and Nikki. Nikki is a boss ass bitch. I don't care what say. So you don't think that this had any weight? I'm not gonna say that, but I'm just saying. At the end of the day, Nikki is still on top. Nikki is still making money off of her dish. So. Right, right, right. Absolutely, so, I can agree. She the boss. At the end of the day, got her. She the boss. She making money off her. How you? If you think about how you say fuck Barbie, you think that's ever going to help? Nah, I don't want to say fuck Barbie for Nikki because I fuck with Nikki. Just fuck all the little fake Barbies. <laughs> if you ain't Nikki, you saying you a Barbie, then fuck you. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So being from Atlanta, I just want to touch on two points. Y'all took a, a very good high last year and a, and a very low low. And I'll say with the high amigos, with the bad bougie, with the culture, like they really got Atlanta's back. I'm not that y'all ever weren't popping, right. but they got it like on some real shit. Like they had some serious eyes on them. After you know that single and that plug on the awards and things like that, but the low was Soldier Boy. He kind of like Soldier Boy's not from Atlanta. We don't claim him. <laughs> we don't claim him. I don't know where he's from. I don't know what he got going on. <laughs> oh my God! Y'all, y'all gave him up. You know. I don't even know what you the know fuck. Not. He got me blocked on Twitter, like. <laughs> Just don't fuck with them. Like, fuck Soldier Boy, bro. Hashtag fuck Soldier Boy. 20 everything. 20. So you're 20 forever. <laughs> and ever. You're repping Playgirl Gang. That's your yeah. thing. That's your shit. That's your squad. Gang, yeah. gang. She got her Playgirl flag on. You know it. You know it. We got our Playgirl Gang shit going on. So is that like the name for your fans? Like how Beyonce No, my fans. Have? My fans. I call my fans Brad. Brats, okay. So your fans are brats. What is the? How is that separate from Playgirl? How do you become a Playgirl? How do you decide? Who uh, it's who hard to be. <laughs> it's very hard to be a Playgirl. Yeah, it, you it really, 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 really like get into Playgirl. But if one. you're younger, if you're 17 and younger, you could be a baby Playgirl. I definitely okay. have lots of baby Playgirls, you know, because I have a lot of kid fans okay. that want to be Playgirl. So I definitely I have baby Playgirls too. To be a playgirl, well, one, a playgirl is like we consider a female hustler because we have girls that rap, like girls that model, like okay. I model. There's uh, some girls that do makeup, okay. hair, mm -hmm. um, some girls that dance, other type of stuff. So, like, okay. you just have to have some type of talent where you can make money off of it. You mm -hmm. can prosper and make, contribute in some way. And how do you decide? I mean, even with that criteria, how do you decide, okay, she's in and she's out, or she's not, you know, she doesn't really... We just know game, <laughs> she's not game. <laughs> we just know. But we have, like, people from day one, like, the first day, Playgirls ever was, like, really a group. Mm -hmm. And from there, there's been, like, people that left, a lot of people that left. And so... No, people that got kicked out. Yeah, my bad. People that <laughs> out, a, a few left, mm -hmm. and some people that we brought in, like, well, not even some, I'll say a few people we brought in, but for the most part, we became, like, 12. Yeah, I think it was 11. No, no numbers. Yeah, I was right now. Now. Not for 
we say never. If we see, I'm about to say, if we see you, we like your talents, then we're going to bring you in. Yeah, we're not really looking. Okay. Okay. So y'all know you might spot someone like, okay. Right if I say, it's a few people I'm looking at right now that I'm, you know, considering bringing in, but. It's just, it, as an all-girl group, it can be, it can be very dramatic sometimes. Yeah, but I say, you know, a whole bunch of girls, you know. We're yeah. girls, like, we're not. I'm about to say, we girls. <laughs> <laughs> we girls. <laughs> we're girls. Um, what's your favorite way to ingest me besides, so, like, I see, is it, do you only do backwoods? Do oh, you do okay. edibles? Do you do... <laughs> You no, like swishes, I like, you like, no, that's what's nasty. really your... I just, well, I really just prefer backwards. Backwoods. What I color prefer, pat? I prefer she's in purple, funnel sometimes. She's a funnel. Oh, sorry, sorry. you like she's in funnel. Mm -hmm. You started at a pee or that No, I'm, I'm from Maryland. I live here. Oh, okay, okay, she's okay, nasty. okay. So you, you like she's in funnel? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> hate. I hate when y'all smoke up here. I hate. I literally have to bring my backwoods everywhere, bro. That's why I call them. Like, I got backwoods. Uh, uh, that shit's nasty. You do ed you eat edibles or? I like edibles, but edibles don't really get me high because they don't. They're not real. If really think about it. Move edibles can't. Them. Edibles can't get you high unless you think you're gonna be high. If you think you're gonna be high, you're gonna get high. Other than that, that shit just a fucking it's not gonna get you brownie. High. You don't. That's, that's you do the dance. Sci like the scientific way, you're not gonna get high. <laughs> if you scientifically dissect it, you're not gonna get high. Do you do that? Do you ever did that? I yes. Agree. Yes. I took edibles I and that. I was and I was high. Cause she thought she was gonna be high. No, that's not the <laughs> reason why. I could give her a brownie right now, tell her it's a weed brownie, she's gonna be high. <laughs> okay, that is stupid. But if you didn't tell her, she just ate the brownie. Test it on one of your friends. Test it on one of your friends. In the morning, in the morning, I started off. My eyes was white. I was fine. I was normal. By the end of like the whole high, my eyes was low and red <laughs> as fuck, like blood. Yeah. I know when I'm high. Test it up. Test it up. I smoke friends, a whole bro. lot. We smoke the same. Scientifically, thing. can because it's digested. That's stupid. Kids don't. How you get high? The edibles out. What happens? You, they you're not gonna get high. You swallow your food. It digests. That stuff. shit starts to digest while it's in your mouth. Your food starts to digest while it's in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to tell you how it works. <laughs> How have you managed to not get caught up in the <laughs> current like drug hype and music? Like how everybody's on Molly's dance. Because first, I don't trust music. myself on drugs. I don't trust myself on drugs. I feel like I'm like yeah. I'm like murder somebody or something because I don't drugs. know. And I'm like gonna be like, I don't know. I just watch too many movies. <laughs> I I can't do it. I can't. Mm -mm, I'm gonna do some wild shit or like I don't know, bro. I just feel like I'm just watching like rob a convenience store or something. <laughs> <laughs> some wild ass shit. shit I I be on because like. Yeah, I'm talking about it. Yeah, I'm talking about it. How do you, like, how is 
that going and you're going to put it in this place. We're going to go to L.A. Or? and we're going to get it done. We're going to go to L.A. I know we have so a lot, lot of friends out in L.A. LA that we have to go and meet with. So once it's done, it'll be, you know, your fans can, like, actually Fire. go to the... Oh, mm -hmm. shit, man. We're also thinking about doing um, pre roll dates as well for, like, maybe the people that can't roll. Can't roll. And we're going to make, like, directions. Hmm. How to roll, Dark Tom? That's why she my like whole favorite rapper. <laughs> like, goddamn, because she knew. Like, I literally be crying, not real tears, but on IG Live, like, mad in the morning because I do not know how to roll fucking papers. Like, I can't, I just say my mouth is, because I'm used to rolling backwards, so you need a lot of saliva for that. So, when you try to roll papers, you don't need as much. And when no, you that put shit too much, so it true. rips the paper. I was, I, was rolling, I was rolling papers while I was in jail. <laughs> uh, I used to rip every single See? One. I used to bounce out of it. Nothing was coming out. I used to be Papers is trash. We're gonna do one for every papers is trash.com. Relos, even though I hate them, a lot of people smoke them, so one to play. Relos is starting to be nasty that. to me because I smoke fabulous too. But they are trifling. But actually, <laughs> nah. They're trifling! I'm not trifling. They're that. dirty south. It's I lied. dirty south. We're not, we're not gonna we're not gonna teach you how to roll Relos. It's not, a dirty self. No, I don't do. I need to know how to roll. I know how to roll backwards. I don't know how to roll papers. Like that's my issue. Like I can't. It never works they, out. I'm about I to say y'all can do the how to. Roll. So many times. I need you to do the bandana tutorial, oh, yeah. and I need you to do the paper tutorial. Your playground flags. 